It is obtainable for the Lakers to win Summer League in Las Vegas. You just look at the starting lineup of this team. It represents a significant chunk of the starting lineup for the regular season. You have number two draft pick Lonzo Ball. You have last year's number two draft pick and Brandon Ingram. You have last year's 32nd pick in Avita Zubats. And then you have a lot of other draft picks from this year with Kyle Kuzma, Josh Hart, Thomas Bryant, second year guard, uh, David Nwaba and the Lakers uh, haven't been shy about it they want to win the summer league as much as it's about developing these young guys improving their defense they want to set a tone I don't think there's a debate there's, there's going to be a lot of hype surrounding Lonzo Ball because of who he is as a number two draft pick for the Lakers his whole family is going to be there including his father LeVar so I'm sure he's going to have plenty of things to say about his son's game good or bad and, uh, you know, Lonzo Ball confirmed that he's going to have a documentary crew uh, following him this season for a documentary that's going to be airing on Facebook. So there's going to be a lot of hoopla around him. But at the same time, the main focus is going to be Summer League and how he plays. And I think, you know, as much as you don't want to make too much out of these games, the Lakers and their fans want to see how much leadership potential does he have? How well is he going to be running the offense and leading guys, getting on guys? And uh, how much are his skills that he showed at, at, at his uh, freshman season in UCLA transferable into summer league with his passing skills, uh, his ability uh, to shoot outside shots? The Lakers have raved about those qualities and pickup scrimmages, but it's obviously a whole another thing to see how that actually plays out in real competition.